Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. In previous videos, we saw about how to create a plugin block and also we saw about how to do the access for your plugin block, right? So today we are going to see about how to create a configuration form for your plugin block in your block layout settings, okay? So let's see how to do that. For that, uh, what is the use of block setting is that, uh, block setting form is that, when you create your, your own plugin block, so uh, we are rendering some content, right? So when you have any settings, like when you want to take print the text in that block in particular color, or when you want to add any button to that block dynamically based on the configuration, in those cases you can use it. So let's see how we can do this here. So for that first, what you have to do, you have to go to your file and uh, you have to move to your plugin file. So let me go to my plugin file. So this is what my plugin file. So here, what I have to do is that I have to create a function called the block form. So which is going to do my uh, form here. So let's see how to do that. So for that, what do you have to do? Before that, you have to mention one more function called inherit. That is inherit doc. So the function name is default configuration. So what does it is that it is going to keep the default value for your block form data. Okay, so it's public function default default configuration form configuration open close so here you have to mention the variable name so what i'm going to do i am going to print some prefix text here so i'm going to create a form for the prefix prefix text for you are welcome to default Drupal channel so let's keep this prefix so prefix so default value, I am keeping it null. So, okay, that's it. So now we successfully uh, mentioned the default value. So next, what you have to do, you have to create a form. So for that, you have to mention the function called block form. So let's do that now. So public function block form. It's form. So argument will be dollar form and then uh, form state dollar form state. So that's it. So let's open it. So and next one is uh, this form state is uh, instance of form state interface. So we need to include that. So form state interface to be one. Okay. So let's add that namespace there. So this is what the namespace for your form state interface. So copy the namespace and add it at the top. So it's already there. So this is what the namespace for your form state interface. So you just need to copy it and you need to add it at the bottom. Okay. So now we add it. So next what we have to do is that we have to create a form. So it will be a text field for us. So form of the prefix equal to a shop type text field a shop title it's a prefix text right so let's mention prefix text the next one is default value we do it to mention the default value for it default value so default value we have to mention that as this tends to configuration. So you uh, we are using the configuration variable here, but you might also notice that we didn't define this configuration variable in this file, right? 
So this configuration variable is coming from the parent class. So we are using it here. So next is, after that you have to return your form, dollar form, okay. So next one is, at inherit dog. So next is submit form for the blog. So it will be public function blog submit blog yes should be caps submit or the argument will be same what it has. So let's copy the same argument and paste it here. So after that, what you have to do? You have to assign value for your configuration variable. So this tends to configure. This what I did. Let's copy paste it. So equal to the value will be coming in the form state variable. So form state tends to get value of. So now we successfully created a block form and block submit function here. So once you created, you have to get this value and you have to print it in the prefix of your uh, text, right? Which is going to print in the front end. And that is what we have to do that here. So for that, you need to copy this variable and paste it here. Dollar prefix. Okay, and here I'm going to add it, prefix, concatenated. So now we saved it. So next, what you have to do, you have to go to your block layout page and you have to go to your D4 Drupal block and click on configuration. So once you click it, you can notice that now there is a new text field called prefix text, right? This is going to get printed in the front end, right? So let's create some text here. Hello. And I'm going to save it. So we gave default value for the form, right? So when you configure, you can notice there is a hello text is pre-populated because uh, we get default value in the form. So the default value is pre-populated. So once then you have to move to your home. So now you can notice the prefix is added, right? Hello, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Okay, that's it about today's session. I'm Saranya, I'm Drupal trainer and tech lead from Brian Lab. So you can find my information here. And if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.